recording. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good morning. I'm Dr. Sabah Bawa, Physics Section, Pusat Pengajian Pendidikan Jarak Jauh, University of Science Malaysia. This is course JIF 318, Quantum Mechanics. We are in Chapter 5 on Linear Algebra, Matrices and Direct Notation. In this segment, Unit 5.7, we will discuss eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. Uh, previously, we had discussed on eigenvalues, eigenvectors, uh, or eigenfunction during that function uh, during that time. But now, for a matrix, what is meant by eigenvalues and eigenvectors? The objective of this uh, segment is for the student to be able to identify how the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of matrix are determined. Let us have a matrix A as defined A equal to 0, 1, 1, 0, okay? as shown in the screen there. Let us assume an eigenvalue C, then the determinant equation is this uh, vertical bracket minus C1 and 1 minus C equal to 0. Okay, this is uh, if you want to have an eigenvalue C. So if we expand out the determinant, that means basically you multiply uh, the terms in 1, 1 with the terms in 2, 2 minus the term in 2, 1 multiplied by the terms in 1, 2. Okay? Like this cross. Then you subtract. That means if we expand out, you multiply negative C with negative C. So we have C squared minus 1 multiply by 1 which is 1 so we have when we expand out basically we have c squared minus 1 equal to 0 and c is equal to plus or minus 1 so c we have two values the first one is positive 1 the other one is negative 1 those the eigenvalues have these solutions c equal to negative 1 and also c equal to 1 that means positive 1 these values can now be inserted into the eigenvalue equation for c equal to 1. Okay, we have this. This is the uh, matrix representing uh, the operator 0, 1, 1, 0. And this is the eigenvector x1, x2. And this is c equal to 1. And this is the icon vector again. Okay, so this is consistent with the general equation or the expression a vector x equal to c vector x, where a is the matrix and x with a, an arrow on its top is called eigen vector, and c is the eigen value. So, from this relationship, we have this solution which yields x2 equal to x1. Okay, when we multiply this out, we have this solution x2 equal to x1 and x1 equal to x2. You can see here that uh, x2 depends on the value of x1 and vice versa, x1 equal to the value of x2. That means these two equations are not independent. That means we have these two equations on the top here, 0, 1 and x1, x1 there. And the bottom one concerning x2. They are not independent. That means they are related to each other. This will always be the case since there must always be one extra degrees of freedom. So basically, they, it will be always the case. That means if we have Two equation then uh, in in this vector form the 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 solutions always are related to each other 
Example, we can choose x1 equal to 1, which give x2 equal to 1, yielding the eigenvector 1, 1, with an eigenvalue c equal to 1. This is an example. If you choose a value x, since x1 equal to x2, so if you choose x1 equal to 1, then x2 also equal to 1, yielding the eigenvector 1, 1, with eigenvalue c equal to 1. Now, if we choose c equal to negative 1, this is what we have. So, the c here is equal to 1. And the solution we get is x2 equal to negative x1, x1 equal to negative x2. Again, they are not independent of each other. Even though uh, the, the sign may change, that means uh, if x1 is positive, then x2 equal to, uh, must be negative. So again, these are not independent equations. We may take x1 equal to 1 yielding the eigenvector 1, negative 1, or x1 equal to negative 1 yielding the eigenvector negative 1, 1. These are two different representations of the same vector. That means even though it looks, the two eigenvectors here looks different, but actually they are of the same vector. So, in conclusion, the eigenvectors are not independent of each other. Thank you very much for your attention.